Hey, what is going on guys? So you have a Samsung Galaxy S10 here and you want to know how to record your screen. First thing I got to mention is they do have a built-in screen recorder. However, it only allows you to record gameplay. That's right. I don't know why they didn't just make a screen recorder where you can record everything. I mean, the iPhone has it on like many previous generations. I'm still going to show you how you can record anything on your screen. But the first thing I want to mention is with the screen recorder with the game, it does run a lot better than using like a third party screen recorder app, especially when you're playing graphic intensive games that's longer than 10 minutes. Anyways, let's go ahead and start off with the screen recorder that's built in playing a game, okay? So first thing is this, let me go ahead and start playing a game here and record my gameplay. I'll play uh, PUBG Mobile here. All right, so the game is open right now and in order to start recording, what you need to do is go from the bottom here, slide up like this and then you see this little icon down here this is the game launcher icon down here. Now the thing is, if you don't have this uh, icon on there, it's because you need to go and enable it. However, it is enabled by default. Anyways, really quickly, let me just show you how to get to the game launch settings. So just go ahead and slide down. We're gonna go into your settings here. And then we're gonna scroll down and right here is game launcher. Again, it should be enabled by default. Anyways, let's go ahead and go back to the game here. Okay, so when you have the game open again, just slide up from the bottom here. Slide up like that, there's the icon. Let me tap on that. And then if you look here, you have a bunch of different options, but right here is screen record. And it's also gonna record the volume that's coming from your phone as well as you speaking. Let me go ahead and tap on this. Okay, so that just moved up. So right now it is actually recording. And let me, testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. And then basically how you stop the screen recording is you just go ahead and exit out of the game. So exit out right there and it just stopped it. And as soon as I exit out of the game, it automatically saves it into my gallery here. So let's go into my gallery. Okay, so here's the game that I just recorded here and I'll go ahead and press on play and I'll raise the volume. So right now it is actually recording and let me, testing, one, two, three, testing, one, two, three. Okay, so you get the message there. And now let me show you how to screen record something else besides a game, okay? Now the only thing is I hope Samsung comes out with some kind of update where they have a built-in screen recorder where we can just record everything. Anyways, the only other option that you have if you want to screen record your S10 here is you do have to download a third-party app. And I would personally recommend this one here, AZ Screen Recorder. I've been using this one for years. Now, the thing is, you can still use the screen recorder if you're recording games and stuff like that. But I would still advise to use the built-in screen recorder that's built in for the games on the S10 because it just runs smoother, especially if you're playing something that's graphic intensive and that's over 10 minutes long. Anyways, just to give you an example how this works here, AZ Screen Recorder. So let me go ahead and tap on that right there. Now you have these options here that pop up and one right here says record. So I'll tap on record right and it says down here, AZ Screen Recorder will start capturing everything that's displayed on your screen. I'm going to go ahead and click on start now. Once I do that, you're going to see a countdown here and action. And now we are currently recording right now. So everything I do on my phone, let me go ahead and slide down here. Now, if you wanted to pause or stop the video, you can do it right here. And let me just go into a settings. Check one, two, check one, two, go to lock screen, blah, blah, blah. Now let me go ahead and turn this off. You can put pause or you can press on the stop. I'm going to go ahead and press on stop right here. And then from here, I can X out of it or I can save it. Or I can share it. I can delete it. Or I can click on here, go to edit right here. And action. And, and now we are on my phone. Let me go ahead and let me press on pause there. And you can do, you know, very basic, simple editing. So what you probably want to do is like a trim. Same thing, you know, you can go ahead and trim it down here. You can even cut the middle part here. So I'll just go ahead and do a little trim right there. I'll put on a trim video here. And then it saves automatically to your gallery and we'll go ahead and view that footage right now. And that's the last video right here at 17 seconds. And let me press on play recording right now so everything I do on my phone let me go ahead and slide down here now if you wanted to pause or stop the video you can do it right here and let me just go into a settings check one two check one two go to lock so you can see that it also records my voice as well so that's pretty much it I hope that helped you guys out and hopefully Samsung comes out with their own built-in screen recorder that you can record everything just like the other just like all the other phones anyways thanks for watching guys and I'll see you on the